You're supposed to be on lockdown. Mmm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. What just happened? Why? Why? Why did it? It was playing. Everything was here. And then I moved. And then I was like, no, I don't feel like running no more. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Excuse you. Come on. There we go. That was rude. Hello and welcome, everyone. Steam just decides it likes to crash on me randomly. It's a lot of fun. And by that, I mean... I love it. I absolutely love it. But that's okay. We made it. We're here. Thank you for your patience. And I started an hour later than usual and I'm going to blame work. Do I have my work computer open still right now? You betcha. I hate it. Anyways. It's going to be just fine. We're going to be fine. We're going to do this for a little bit and then pick it up again tomorrow. This is pretty much my life for the next little while. And I have zero complaints about that whatsoever. So, yeah. I don't know. I think we'll just get like right into it. Immediately into it. Alrighty. Alrighty. Trying a different setup as well for myself today, so like bear with me. I'm still trying to figure things out. Okay. I hit load. Come on. Let me load. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Oh, I forgot I can do that. Um, so we played a game. Hi, Jamie. Yeah, right? Oh my god. This game. I'm trying to remember what the hell I did on Thursday. It was really funny. Like, despite having played the demo, the demo is like nothing compared to this. What the fuck is going on with my earbuds? Anyways, who cares? Um, how are you, Jamie? How's it going? Welcome to, I am, I've literally, so we met everybody and you have a first impressions thing with this and I was like I would like to love everybody <laughs> I would like to romance everyone oh it's so good it's it's everything I wanted it uh, you disgusting I don't know how bad it is where you are but it is I got Celsius okay <laughs> I actually don't know how to convert this but it's disgustingly warm um, and also humid. I have been feeling that sticky all day and I hate it. It is, I don't deal well in heat. I joke that I wilt, um, but it's not really a joke. It's the absolute truth. I die in the heat. So the fact that I'm already sick of summer and it's not even here yet is a problem. Very clearly a fall child, so. Very obvious reasons. Oh my goodness. But I hope it's not, I hope it cools down for you. I don't think we're getting any sort of relief until Wednesday, apparently. So I definitely made sure my AC unit was working in between calls at work today. Cause otherwise I would be very sad. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, we're at 29 Celsius. So like right there with you. Isn't it awful? I don't know my, hu I don't know the humidity. Can my phone tell me? Phone, tell me. Clearly it's been a long day. Clearly. Because my brain was like, yes, just tell me. If I just say this to my phone, it'll answer, right? Okay. <laughs> oh no, never mind. Apparently it's 31. My computer says 29. My phone says 31. Feels like 31. Feels like hell don't know what you're talking about come on phone tell me tell me things i vastly prefer 38 percent humidity so i'm right there with you um i also prefer the cold there's a reason why i live in canada you would think it'd be colder here year round apparently it's not split the difference 30 yeah pretty much it's at 30. it's at 30 it is it is a mess it is disgusting it is not fun I hate it. It needs to go away. Ugh. Yeah, okay. So, you get it. You get it. Oh, God. 
This needs to be- I'm already done with summer! <laughs> I'm already so done. This is- this is bleh. Oh, bleh. But you know what's not bleh? This game! Anyways, okay. So, what did I even do the last time? We met everybody. We downloaded a legal iris. Iris is now illegal. What's up with that? Which is like wild to me and very sad. Also, I can't seem to stop myself from unsubscribing from Pizza Facts, which makes me very sad and disappointed because all I want is Pizza Facts. Um, we'll move to this boy. Um, all, all I want is Pizza Facts. That's all I want all the time. And apparently I am not allowed that. So, uh, I miss, I, the pizza bagels, the pizza bagels are such a good reference still. Um, but yeah, and so I met with everybody, which was fun. And then I got to play a game of Fist of, Iris is illegal! Yeah, apparently they, so something happened, unfit to endure the summer heat. That, I need to figure out how to say that, because that is, that is 100% me. In a nutshell. Um, yeah, no, so Iris became, so apparently like three years ago, I'm still trying to determine how long after the first game this is. Also, the really cool thing is I was able to connect this to my first game. So like we met Matt and Ben and they made references to owning a barcade, which is what I created in my version. Um, and I spent a lot of time with Ben and Matt cause like they're adorable and I love them to pieces. Um, but yeah, so we did, yeah, Iris is illegal. Yeah, so we found out through our rival that the only way to draw in a pro team is to probably get Iris to find us one. So we download the illegal piece of software now known as Iris. Wild. She's being saved on like some remote servers now. Um, but yeah. I have a feeling it's gonna come back and bite us in the ass later. So we'll see how this goes. Cacotheres? Cacotheres? Hopefully that's right. I'm really bad at pronunciation. I'm really bad with words, actually. Which is ironic half the time with me. Yes. That's good. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, poor Iris, indeed. Um, which also means she's not sponsored by Pizza Young's, which is why she's like, oh, I guess I don't have to promote pizza bagels anymore. <laughs> My poor girl. Ugh. And so, yeah, so we download that, and they're like, yeah, she's like, yeah, go here. This will be the place where you can find a team. And obviously it's a bunch of uh, people who aren't a pro team, but we're gonna make them into a pro team. It's gonna be a training montage and everything. I have no idea actually. So we went through, met everybody. They accept us onto the team, which was great. Um, and then I started off with, Ir with um, Iris, Jinx. I started off with Jinx, hence her being up right now. Um, but we finished playing a run of FOD to to, I don't know the best way to call that. One day I'll figure that out. Um, and yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much where it got. And that took, like, the demo I know took, like, 45 minutes. I want to say that's what it was. I played for three hours on Thursday and have not met my rivals yet. Which is insane. She deserves a, di a digital pizza bagel. She de she deserves all the pizza bagels. I love Iris still so much. Yeah, probably. I, yeah, it, I don't know. It's just crazy. Apparently, I was seeing something because there may have been some glitches, not in the Steam version, but in some of the like platform versions. Um, so if you loaded your previous save data, then there may be, an, there was like a bug that they're starting to figure out. I don't know why I've paid this close attention, but apparently I have. But it hits my chapter four, so I got ways to go. But it's already starting to make little references and stuff like that, which is cool. So I'll take it. I don't even know. Anyways, so that's pretty much like, that's as far as I got. I did not actually spend that much time in the character creator, surprisingly. I don't remember what I named my, my, my rival this time though, but I did decide that we were friendly rivals and that romance could be an option. <laughs> oh my God, is it gonna be this Sunday again? Oh, thank God. Oh yeah, thank you, Gatsy. I named them Cupcake. <laughs> I forgot what was wrong with me last Thursday. <laughs> so many things. Wait, Vampire Delph has a job. Oh, 
talk to Vampire Delph. How's it? This is gonna be good. This is gonna be good for me. This is gonna be good for Asher. <laughs> because we're gonna sit back and chill for a minute and not be panicking. But if Vampire Daddy has a job for us, it's gonna be good times. Ooh. Yeah, by the way, guys, son, friends, family, loved ones, enemies, I don't. You're one of my enemies and you're watching me. I don't know why. <laughs> I applaud you though. I don't know. Um, thank you though, Katzi, for the reminder that it's Cupcake and that makes my life very, very happy right now. Uh, but Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Why does it have to sound like that? It just does. Um, kicking it back with, uh, yeah, Fire in the Dark, Huntsman Sidra, 2 p.m. Eastern. It'll be good times. It'll be very good times. I'm excited. You sure he does have a matriarch partner? Ah, oh, shit. <sighs> Jamie, we learned two things. Asher's weaknesses are apparent. No, actually, it's one thing. Asher has a weakness to one thing. It's chests. And no matter what version we think of, she she wants, okay? <laughs> it's just chests of all variants can simplify it like that. I hate that I did my brain works that way. Anyways, we will see how it goes on Sunday. I am thrilled, I am excited. Um, I am also mildly scared, but I think that's just my usual state of being at this point. So, you know, you know. It'll be fine, I could possibly go wrong. Everything. Anyways. <laughs> oh, man. As I move things around. I'm not scared. No. Okay. Here's the thing. Parker is scared. Asher is absolutely not. Parker's just scared because this is going to be how we lose Asher. Okay? <laughs> Parker's just like watching her dumb child go off and do very stupid things and it's like no, no, don't, no, don't, you don't, don't touch, don't lick, don't, don't do anything. You just stop. And apparently Asher's like, okay, but hear me out, yes. <laughs> like the open safe right next to a violent monster. Ugh, oh, not gonna lie, that was still the most, that was the most ridiculous thing I've done in a hot minute, but I'm so grateful that I uh, opened it without any repercussions, because otherwise that would have sucked. Although I personally am still waiting on the repercussions of feeling guilty for making the others feel bad for thinking they left Asher behind. It's gonna be good times. It's gonna be good times. But yeah, no, uh, apparently Asher's weaknesses are women and money. But really only if they are difficult or problematic to get. Then she is going to get her. How is my child not dead yet? I don't know. Anyway, so Sunday's gonna be fun. Find out if I die. It's kind of a speed run to see who goes first. Tristero is still in the win. Is still in the lead, rather. That is a terrible contest for us to be in, but you know. Oh my god. And really, was that mo Okay, no, the monster was violent. They were just also very sad, though. By the sounds of it. If it's a woman with money, it was hard to get. Then <laughs> that because that, then bye bye. I hope y'all don't want Asher to be useful. There they go for the next forever. Um, that's pretty much a challenge accepted, let's do this, and I guess then that's when I start rolling another character with maybe not so simple weaknesses. <laughs> I don't know. It's actually really fun to play that, though. Like, it's really fun to play someone who is kind of simple in that regard, in the, like, here's, here's what we want, here's the things that we look for in life. 
We're pretty chill about it otherwise. Sadness and fear breed violence until they're shown sympathy. They're never. Oh, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I felt bad for that creature. I really did. I loved watching um, Crow just like try to talk to them through it too. It's kind of beautiful in so many ways. While I bamped myself into a shadow and, you know, went and broke into the safe. It was beautiful! Minus everything else that I was doing. Um. Yeah. It's a good thing they didn't die in that chapel. That made them feel real bad. I'm excited for Sunday, though. It'll be good. I've been loving, loving this Fire in the Dark game that's on Sunday. Every other Sunday, Henson's Hydra. Go check it out. Eventually, there'll be a timer thing that'll pop up the information. That's okay. You're having pizza bagels? I'm sorry, what? I'm very happy for you. Lurk away, sweetie. Don't be working. Stop that. Stop the working. But I also couldn't blame you if you still are. My work laptop's still open because that's what kept me going. That's what kept me until six. Oh, can I download that now? Thank God. Parker, what are you doing? You're supposed to be streaming and all you've been doing for the last 18 minutes is talking. Well, you know what? And then you go to your work, anyways. My work computer will eventually, bleh, stop it. Um, I have no attention span. We know this already about me. Only had them at friends house as a kid as a treat. That's amazing. Talking is streaming. The thing is, I have realized that I can go onto so many different tangents so easily. Ah, you are, no, you're perfectly fine doing this. You're not a distraction perfectly fine. This also isn't the longest I've gone without starting the game either. I think that still stands to be like, either, it's either 30 or 40 minutes where I think I just spent the entire, like, and it was just the entire time was me talking about random stuff, not necessarily the game. It is gay arcade. A gay cade, if you will. I don't know if that actually works. Gay cade? Sure. I love it. It makes me miss arcades and stuff like that. I haven't been to one in a hot minute. By hot minute, I mean I can't remember the last time. <laughs> there's plenty, there's some in Toronto where I'm at. I just don't get out much. <laughs> in my defense, outside right now is disgustingly warm. Queercade, there we go. That's better. That's much better. Queercade is cute. I like that a lot, actually. Oh, but yeah, no. Like, the, I, on, so ironically, there is one that is up the street for me like proudly a seven minute walk have i gone there yet no am i going to probably not Ooh. whoopsies but i am going to a board game cafe later this week so that's exciting i have a co-worker who invited me and i was like yeah sure i'll go i don't know who's going to the lab, but that's cool i'm a i'm a join i'm a join yeah no <laughs> i don't get out much I don't do a lot <laughs> for someone who was this. Um, I don't do a lot. I don't see a lot of people. I surprisingly stick to myself a lot. South side of Twin Cities, lots to do, but do I leave? No. Yeah, nope. Toronto, I am like west end of the city. There's tons in my area. And I'm not actually that far from downtown or at least like a lot of the cool stuff in downtown. Do I go? No. Why would I? Except for apparently this Friday. And next week, but next week's kind of... No. This Wednesday, next one... There's a few Wednesdays this month where I've got to... I, I am going and being social. What am I doing? Jesus Christ. I don't know. But half of it's for work. Like, that's the other thing, too. So. Ow. There's lots to do. There's some cool places in the city. I mean, actually, Katsy and I went to... I know you're lurking, Katsy. It's perfectly fine. Um, Katsy and I went to this really cute, like, little witch market um, that was happening in Toronto. Uh, last Friday? Friday. It was a lot of fun. Really cute. Little, bunch of little, like, vendors and stuff like that. Um, and then we went to a really great hole in the wall that's, like, been known for decades. And we were both like, we don't get out much. We don't see much. We know this stuff exists. And at least we got out to do this. That's about it. Oh, my life. Okay, computer, stop telling me there's a weather advisory because I know already. I am already very aware of this fact. So, all right, 
Jinx, my darling, who's wearing a leather jacket that I would die in if I wore right now. Um, although I do have one that looks very similar to that with like even like that belt there. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Arcade Spirits is one of those games where I'm like, I could probably cosplay some of these people. I probably have the clothing in my house. I have majority of this outfit in my house right now that I think of it. Including that lipstick. My nails are also currently black. So actually, God damn it. Um, but nah. I don't know. I may do looks inspired by some of the characters as I continue doing this, these streams. Mostly for funsies. I own everything to look like this. However, this is fairly <laughs> accurate to me. If they had given me plaid shirts as an option, trust me, that probably would have been my wardrobe today <laughs> in the game. <laughs> but plaid was not an option, which is very sad. All right, Jinx. Hi, sweetheart, darling. I've left you waiting long enough. All right. There's practically a Black Friday sale level of shoving to get to the front as they reach for those joysticks. Oh yeah, other people just want to play with me. Another hour we partner up in various combos, fighting against online players, swapping tips, having a laugh, getting salty, a little bit of everything. Oh, I forgot how much I love Loxley. Anyways, I don't know why I'm weak for the Robin Hood man, but apparently I am. Discount Robin Hood. Oh, haha, <laughs> God. Turn, parry, dodge, spin, hat, thrust. Sir, could you please settle down? Need help here in my lane. On my way, my fair. Don't call me that. On my way, Jinx. We win some, we lose some. Oh, bullshit! I hate the RNG crit damage in this game. One hit gank. Okay, also, I am Zapper. I'm fairly certain of this on like an emotional level. <laughs> like, this is. It, she just sounds like me. Hey, it happens. I'll hurt myself into certain death by, by time while you respawn. That's cute. And as proof, Iris may be onto something. The losses don't feel quite as painful. Not this time. Not while fighting at their side. I wonder, do you think a Tomokaze aggro could bu could build could work? Some, buy some cheap items and storm them right out the gates? Works well for Queen Bee of, and of the four heavenly kings. I've seen her run Tomokaze aggro all the time on streams. Mommy, come back to us. I mean, let's... Hi, I'm a Queen Bee. I miss you. Could you please come back and visit? That'd be delight. You know what, Queen Bee? This arcade could use a little TLC from you. Actually, that was the fun thing is Naomi was mentioned a bunch. Naomi is actually the one who fitted the gear on the console, like the arcades, for uh, Jinx. Like she's the one who came up with the riggings and stuff and got it set up. So it was really cute to have like all of those nods to the last game. There's still obviously all the tutorials to get through um, if for anybody playing for the first time. So you just don't get some of the subtle references, but yeah. She's practically mastered it. If you're interested, you could pick up a few things by watching her. The atmosphere is completely different from grinding the ladder in my darkened bedroom all by myself. We share in wins and losses. Yeah, that's part of being social. The, the thing that I've literally just talked about not being. Never really been to an arcade before this day. Never really saw the point. Not when I could play from home. Waste of money on travel and tokens, too socially awkward, not worth the hassle, right? But despite being an arcade newbie, a keyboard warrior, they accepted me into their fold. And playing alongside them is, well, it's something else entirely. I could get used to this. I really could. That makes it sound like something bad is gonna happen. Listen, don't get your hopes up on shit. It's gonna get trashed. Just you wait. Still, the hour's growing late and I'm getting hungry again. Pizza twice in a single day only sounds fun. Sounds weak. Actually, no, I'd be the exact same way. I wind up the curly spiral cord on my keyboard, ready to move out. Okay, okay, it's been a blast, but I think I should be heading home. It's getting late. I clearly have a bad time. Blotting so soon, tis a shame, but no slight on your person. Your first day in a new situation can be overwhelming. I kind of love how, like, sympathetic you already are, my dear. I can see that. I know I wasn't very comfortable my first few times here at the arcade, but you grow into it. I promise. Right? I'll always be here to- we'll always welcome you back here. It's a promise. Dinner and sleep for me, definitely, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. 
smile parts my lips as I offer them a wave and turn to leave. Only to find my path to the exit blocked. Here we go. Here we go. Oh no, I skipped that. I didn't mean to. Oh well, we already know who these four are. Hi. Oh, here we go. Four cock- Oh, because I forgot that I can make it disappear so I can look at the scene. Forgot I could do that. Four cocky looking people stand as if part of an ancient Roman phalanx uh, formation, giving the arcade a once over. What's more, they're all wearing the trademark golden jerseys of Team PT P2W, Playtowin, the hottest fist of discomfort team in the nation. I recognize them instantly. Who doesn't know the superstars of Team P2W? The team I originally wanted to join, and that is until this afternoon. You will realize soon, my dear, that you do not want to. The beefy one of the bunch. Yeah, that's totally fair, Jamie. Please, please take care of yourself. Lurk away, dear. That's also a really good idea. I'm gonna need that at some point myself. The beefy one of the bunch, I think his handle is... Oh, hello. Yeah. We're gonna say it's what the cool kids are playing because I'm playing. I'm not cool. I'm actually disgustingly warm. I've been through this already because it's far too warm here. <laughs> um, but yeah, this one just dropped on Friday. So this is Arcade Spirits, the new challengers, and we're about to meet our rivals. I love it. But the cool thing is you actually have the option to like not date anybody if you just want to play through it like a visual novel. Um, Cause they're really smart and cognizant and mindful of like allowing for that. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I have so many jokes right sorry my brain decided to go into 12 million jokes about being a microwave and I'm like wait so like radioactive shit that ain't good <laughs> I was like wait am I hot and ready in like a matter of minutes oh fuck no <laughs> uh, and I feel like I deserve better than cheap microwave dinners so <laughs> Oh my god. As a weird point of reference, <laughs> go for it. <laughs> Any of those are great. Um, what was I going to say? In a hilarious side note, I have not owned a microwave in years. <laughs> it weirds out everybody when I say that, but I actually genuinely... It's a very long story how I got there, but it's just been one of those I have been too lazy to go buy a new one, mostly because then I have to go find the space to actually put it somewhere. So I use my stove and oven for everything. <laughs> but also, I, it's been five years without one. So also for a second there. Oh yeah? Cause like, I like, I have zero shade. I think it, it works fine. I've clearly survived. The only type it can be. The problem is, is I love baking, and so it makes it an absolute pain in the ass if I have to use the stove top to melt butter or to melt chocolate or anything. Like, you can... Well, you should be double broilering and for chocolate anyways. That's a whole other thing. But, like, it's honestly so much easier if you have a microwave to do that. Um, but, yeah, no. It, I mean, it can be healthier. It also doesn't dry out your food as much, um, I find. Or it doesn't go, like... It doesn't go as like, uh, I was, it's kind of stiff. It goes cardboard really fast because um, it dries out. That's the problem is it dries things out pretty fast. And it's really what it is. I always burn chocolate by mouth. Okay, fair. I am one of those like notorious like, okay, 15 seconds, take it out, stir, put it back in, 15 seconds, take it out, stir. Like I am very methodical with it. Um, but I do miss being able to just like melt butter Cause, or like warm up milk. To like bring it up to temp if I'm putting it in something. That part, I miss a microwave for those like quick things. Otherwise, I've gotten away with it for so long that I don't know. I have burnt chocolate though in, yeah, convenience. That's the word. I do miss the convenience. I do, but I think I've just gotten so used to it that I haven't worried as much. Oh, and I also miss making, like, because sometimes you can put everything into a mug and then you put in the microwave and then you have a mug cake at the end. I miss being able to do that. Now I shove it in the oven, but it takes a hell of a lot longer in the oven. Because then it's, like, properly baking and shit. <sighs> I miss the convenience! <laughs> mug cakes are amazing! Ugh! It's, like, the one thing, that's, like, the biggest thing that I think I miss about having a microwave is doing that. Like, mug cakes got me... 
through university. <laughs> um, they really did. And so, yeah, you can do them in the oven. It's not as much fun. And then I'm using like ramkins half the time too, because I don't want to put my mugs in there. Stinkies. But anyways, I could talk about baking for a very long time. It's a little silly. Um, I love baking. I love to. I bake a lot in my spare time. Or I bake actually, no, I don't have spare time. I bake when I'm avoiding doing something. I procrastinate bake like nobody's business. Um, because I just, I don't know, when I'm supposed to be doing things, I would just rather bake. I have never, no, I never did that. Although, no, I think the worst we did was just exploding peeps in the microwave once. Again, microwave gets you, does a world of damage. Um, no, mug cakes were just when I was in university. We used to do them as like stress busters during uh, university week. So we can get all the supplies, get everybody in the residence, like down to the common room. Um, and then we'd make mug cake and it was delicious. Um, you know, and chocolate. All about them steam fry. Yeah, the air fryer stuff. I still, I don't have one of those either. Those ones I might, that I actually might get. Cause like, it seems also faster than an oven, but in th I guess healthy too in some ways. I don't know. And I, I don't know, I don't know. The problem is my kitchen's very tiny as it stands, so I'd have to figure out where to put it, and I really just genuinely don't. But maybe one of these days I'll just get rid of everything and then rearrange the entire thing. No, that still sounds like a lot of work, actually. <laughs> I take it back. If I haven't been able to do that with my office lately, I'm not doing it with my kitchen. Oh yeah, oh my God, making homemade tortillas with using wraps is like so yummy. Cause then you have them when they're warm and you just like layer how much salt you want on there. Oh, oh, see, I still, I'll do it, but I'll do it in like a pan. I'll pan fry them. Um, but do but oh my God, the air fryer would make that so fast and so easy and much less likely for me to burn things or actually get it too oily soaked. Big. Oh shit. Hello and welcome to Parker's Streams where I just talk about food for quite literally forever because this is easily what happens here. Bacon salt. Sorry, my brain immediately went to Gur from Invader Zim of why is there bacon in the soap? <laughs> salt. <laughs> why is there bacon in the soap? I mean it myself. Anyways, I'm good. Welcome to my brain. Uh, no, I was already derailed. We haven't gone far. I have talked about nothing <laughs> useful in my life today. It has been 34 minutes. No, like I have spent maybe four minutes on the game. The other 30 minutes, I was already derailing this. I, I don't know. This, the, the, the tracks go nowhere here. This is just how my streams go. Maybe this is why I got nowhere after three hours of playing this on Thursday. Um... Now, also, there's just a lot of extra content in chapter one this time, so. No, and also, it's so, I like, and I keep talking about doing a, like, food stream one of these days where, like, I'll bake or do something and it'd just be fun. Um, so one of these days, I really want to, so, okay, so I guess maybe I do need to, like, completely revamp my entire setup in my kitchen, because then that would look cool. Sorry, now my brain's going into what that could be. Anyways, I'll figure it out. One of these days I will do a cooking stream though, cause I think it'd just be a lot of fun and we'll do it out of my kitchen and kind of go from there. Um, yeah, I know that's the problem is setting it up in my kitchen would be a pain in the arse. I think I know how to, I would, oh shit, you, you, sorry, I'm pointing at my microphone. You don't know this, my microphone is right here. Cause I can't use the mic attached to my camera. My camera sucks for a microphone. Um, so I would need to be able to set up my mic, but I do have a stand actually, so I could do it. It would just be unplugging a lot of things, but I think it'd be doable. Cause if I did, yeah, so one of these days I'll figure it out. But also my kitchen's, actually no, my kitchen's really nice and clean right now. I made time to take care of it this weekend. So caramel popcorn chocolate tart, um, instead of a bait, Pastry base, uh, use popcorn. Oh, okay. Made a bowl in the middle and filled with chocolate nosh. Nice, yummy. Oh, that'd be actually really cool. Did you bind like the popcorn with anything for that base or was that like the caramel bit to like bind it? Cause that'd be really, like, 
or was it yeah caramel popcorn to do that because that would make a lot of sense to actually keep it together and then that'd be really yummy yeah the caramel to bind it that makes a lot of sense yeah see i just love i love baking and i will bake any number of things and it's just fun my latest favorite thing to do is baking things and then putting things in jars um yeah do that and then just tag me and i'll find out afterwards <laughs> um i love making things in jars because then i can gift it to people um or i then have like pre-portioned actually that's a lot because i portions are super off but it's really fun to do like the layering effect that way if you do it in like mason jars i don't know i'm very hipster apparently <laughs> Um, but it's also nice because then you can bake everything as like a sheet cake and then use a cookie cutter to cut out the layers and do it that way. I've done that before with several cakes and I always love how it turns out because it just looks pretty from the side. Um, it's also fun to put together because then you put all the pieces and then... No, I've not tried making my own mead. That is my summer project because I've been wanting to do it for years now and I just keep... Not getting the supplies to do it for some stupid reason. Oh, and there we go. See, okay. I was like, I swear there's eventually a timer that'll come here and promote the um, Fire in the Dark game that I play in on alternating Sundays. Because it's coming up this Sunday. Where I get to be an absolute little shit. <laughs> Which is no different than usual. Yeah, no, I was, and like, even on TikTok, I got very into me TikTok for like a long time, like, a few months where I just had video upon video of people making mead and I was like oh, I need to do this and then I keep forgetting somebody else brought up mead recently like mead making recently too I can't remember who but I was like yeah no it's been on my to-do list for a while so I think this summer will be the time I have a week off coming up at the beginning of July and so that might be my like, okay, let's get into the projects that I haven't had the chance to get into. Like that might be when I do the cooking stream and do all these fun things. I have, I have seen the souffle pancakes. I would love to try doing it, but I don't have like big enough dome lids to be able to cover them so that way they can steam properly. Cause you really need something that's domed in my opinion. Um, I could, I, literally guys I can talk about baking for forever um it's a little scary for someone who doesn't do this <laughs> yeah that would still be yummy um I imagine anyways but no I would because I've seen I've watched so many videos of it I just haven't attempted it yet um maybe one of these days I will I'm gonna figure out something wild and bake it on stream <laughs> see how that goes yeah, you would need the piping. Yeah, the piping bags make sense for that. Um, but I've seen like them doing like making almost a steamer so that way it actually still cooks but like lifts properly. Because that's just it with the whenever you bake a souffle like in the oven, you don't actually want to open the oven at all. It's going to destroy the souffle. Um, that's So you need it to stay in a contained space in order for that to happen um, and for it to rise. But otherwise... That said though, those souffle pancakes, like if you get like the... They just keep their height half the time afterwards, unlike a souffle that'll eventually sink back in on itself. I love souffles. It's been a hot minute since I've made a souffle. Should fix that. It's been a minute. Oh, I love pastries. I really do. I'm a sucker for a good for good sweets. Needs to be good. Needs to be quality. Bah. Work, stop messaging me. And not that that matters. If I yell at work now, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Speaking of food, the beefy one. <laughs> okay, cool. Beefy one of the bunch. I think his handles blitz. Looks around clearly unimpressed with what he sees. Huh. Nice broom closet. Where's the arcade? A woman has a sign. Yep, that's divine. I recognize her from her streams. Let's add a little snicker and stage whispers to him in response. I think this is the arcade blitz. It's charming, I suppose. Quaint. In a way, likely popular with the kitties. I have that choker. Anyways, we're gonna stop about how I could also cosplay everybody in this goddamn game. I don't think I have that wig though, but I could get one. I can make that. Parker, you're not making this. You have 12 other cosplays you have not finished yet. Slightly unshaven teammate uh, smirks while rolling his eyes. That'd be Coda. I do not like him. If I remember him from the demo, I wanted to punch him in the face. So Blitz, Divine, Coda. No, Divine, we're here to have 
fun and play nice. Let's not be all rude and stuff to local yo local yokels. But I ignore those three. Because there's one more who has my complete and undivided attention. My rival! Cupcake! Hilariously also named after food. Why am I like this? Uh, team, chill. We're here to say hello to Chaotic Group's new team. So play nice. They're a bit riled up because we just absolutely crushed it in an online tourney, so we wanted to come out and celebrate with you. You wanted to celebrate your win with me? Don't forget, we're also celebrating your acceptance onto this team, too. Look at all of you. You're so cute. How did you know where I was? I haven't even had the chance to tell you. Did you forget that Pengi Pals Go automatically checks you in wherever you go? I really had to stop signing up signing up for random websites without reading their TOS first. Normally, you'd be ha you're happy to see your friend Cupcake, but your face is all scrunched up. What's the matter? I'm glad, really, but also, F you. My eyes dart over the rest of Cupcake's team. They've all wandered around, off around the arcade, laughing and making rude gestures towards a small collection of games. Why'd you bring them? Oh, they're harmless. Cupcake waves it off like it's nothing. Sure, they like to talk a big game, but they're pretty chill. And from all over the arcade, I can see the other team splitting up, looking to hassle my new friends. Jerks. Uh oh. Okay, so maybe they're a little overexcited. Let me see if I can do anything about this. We can catch up later. Cupcake smiles, looking me in the eyes before turning around and leaving me where I stand. Immediately, the tension in the arcade jacks up to a ridiculous degree. Clearly more than 3.6 rungeons. Rungeons? An unstable nuclear situation. Not great, not terrible. Team PGW are quickly finding various ways to cause trouble, antagonizing my new friends, messing with the games, you rude ass mofos. The easiest thing to do would be to avoid all this drama and stay on the sidelines, but that's not what friends do. Even if I'm a relatively new friend, less than a day old, I should step in and help where I can. <laughs> oh, Iris, how I've missed thee. Let me help. Okay, fine. How can I phone out help with playground bullies? I'm keeping my micro microphone input open and echolocating any trouble you may find around the place. Check out your map and pick out a place to go. But I don't think you're going to be able to visit everyone before things boil over. Right, prioritize. Got it. What's happening right now? All right, here we go. So I've got three little sectors of time here. And then it looks like I have four different areas. The problem is I'm sorry, rival. I'm not gonna be talking to you. Okay. So we're gonna go with Grace and Loxley dealing with Blitz. So this part is also from the demo, so hopefully, so it should be fairly similar, although I do not remember how well that went. On the far side of good, clean, fun, Grace is demoing her indie RPG on that fancy homebrew handheld game console, sort of. So I actually have an original Game Boy. Like, I kept mine. And there's part of me that really wants to figure out how I can, like, fix it and modify it so, like, it could do cool shit on it now. Um, have not thought that far yet, though. That is one of those side projects I will eventually dive into quite like me. We'll get there. Wow, this game's easy as hell. Slice, dice, 200 XP. That old guy didn't even put up a fight. What? That, that's a shepherd, not a fighter at all. Blitz, please, you're not supposed to be killing the villager NPCs. I don't see why not. They're packed with tons of XP. I've leveled up three times in five minutes cutting my way through this town. They have XP because they have levels and crafting skills, not because they're meant to be murder. So not to say XP is XP, and they're good XP. <laughs> Look at the blood spray! So much of the laundry you were carrying, lady. Gonna need to put a stain treatment on that blanket. Oh no. You... You killed the town weaver. She loved music and quilting and I love that Grace has everybody's stories. What's this game called again? Wandering Trial or something? Where's the big bad at the end? I want to skip to the end. Haha, <laughs> run stupid villagers. I've got an axe and you've got heads and I'm gonna use one on the other. But please don't, just give me back my game. What was that speak up? Can't hear you over all these digital screams and stuff. G give it back, please, if you don't mind. You're, you're playing it all wrong. Hey, come on. You'll never grow as a game designer without feedback. 
Don't you want me to test this thing? Not enough game devs really listen to the gamers, you know? They hide and ignore us or ban us from their forums, or are you afraid of free speech? No, it's not that. I just, I, I okay, I guess. Puzzled as to how this even happened, I try to crouch Grace's attention. As she must help me my way briefly, unable to even raise her voice, so racked with nerves and anxiety. And I barely noticed Loxley sliding on up next to me. I have no idea how one manages to lurk in the shadows of a brightly lit pizzeria, but he's done it. Unacceptable. Love this boy. Give me my Robin Hood. That such a ruffian should harass off fair grace like this. It's unacceptable. Unacceptable. Something must be done. Fortunately, he's talking quietly through that ruffian. Well, enough that that ruffian himself doesn't hear us. Plus, that little speaker's loudly squealing with screams of the innocent. Can't we just get Ben and Matt to kick these P2 jokers out? P2W jokers. It's a private business establishment. Management reserves the right to refuse service, yada yada yada. They could do. Well, would, would that we could, but alas, they seem a bit distracted by more pressing and dire matters. Huh? I look around for Ben and Matt, owners of this privately owned business establishment, and resident authority figures. Hi, boys. Also, note to self, see if I can find this t-shirt online. I wish to own it. Who are way too busy dealing with a couple of washing machines spewing out rich creamy soap all over the floor. Well, I'd call this a mess, but it's sort of the elemental opposite of messy. Maybe we could throw a foam party and call it a new selling point. I love them. No, the task falls to us, I'm afraid. As her friends and allies, we are honor bound. And I suggest this be executed in a subtle matter, lest mere tensions turn to full troubles. A bold move. I propose shenanigans. If you can distract this brute in a way that makes him drop the game, I will promptly retrieve it. You want him to drop Grace's custom handmade game console? I faith in my agility. I can save it from impact with the floor, and this act would break his attention away from it. Albeit, if you have a better stratagem in mind, I'm all ears, but we should act swiftly and decisively. What do you propose? I love this. Okay. I'm trying to talk him down. Grace prefer the peaceful. Um, so I could do Grace's solution, Loxley's solution, or my own solution, which is just... But I'm going with Loxley. Yeah, I'm not in the mood to deal with this guy head on. The idea of pulling some epic maneuver on him has a certain bent appeal. So, we run distraction play. Indeed. I'll get in position. Do what you can to pull his attention away from the game and make him drop it. Tally-ho! We'll outwit this fool with ease. Tally-ho! Love him so much. Loxley blends back in with the crowd, tugging his hoodie up and over his distinctively sharp gaze, becoming a simple nobody, leaving me to engage with his lunk in some manner that'll tank aggro from him. Let's see. I want to work without causing too much chaos. In the middle of a tightly arranged restaurant full of tables and chairs and condiments and such, aren't we? Oh, this is good. Um, we're, we, no, soda and electronics is a terrible idea, so we're gonna go pizza slice. For my next trick, I will require an extra cheesy slice of cheese on cheese on cheese. Something really gooey and sloppy. With Ben and Matt distracted, I sneak behind the counter with cat-like quickness, fetching my weapon of choice. Then strolling along casual as can be. Oh no! How clumsy of me! What the hell? Feeling the sizzling cheese splatter all over his back, the jock staggers forward, dropping Grace's game in the process. Just as Loxley slow Look at this beautiful boy. You can't see him, he's a shadow. Anyways. Just as Loxley slips in nice and low, a big green blur as his hand snakes out to grab the game just inches above the ground. And he's out again before the P2W player even notices what happened. He's too busy looking like he wants to tear me in half anyway. Hey, watch where the fuck you're going. Watch where you're fucking going. Sorry, sorry, my mistake. Are you okay? He angrily wipes out his clothes before grabbing a fistful of napkins from a dispenser nearby. You know, conveniently, there's a laundromat just over- I know where it is, thank you. I swear if you wrecked my fucking clothes. Bye, Blitz. He stomps off, having completely lost interest in Grace's game. Thankfully, not taking an interest in cold-blooded murder, either. Oh, no. How 
Oh, jeez. Oh, that was... That was... Worry well, not, Lady Grace. Your allies shall always be here in your time of need. It was dangerous. You could have started a fight. You didn't have to do that. You really shouldn't have done that. But at least my game is safe. Oh, what a mess. I'll have to go restore the database. Bring my friends back. Um, excuse me. I've got work to do, and, um, thank you. Most unfortunate. Uh, it seems our swashbuckling antics have not pleased our fair maiden. Nevertheless, I am quite impressed with your skill. You act with decisive swiftness to rescue her hard work. Marvelous. Should we be forced to draw blades against foe in the future, I shall feel great comfort in knowing I fight alongside you. Comrades, we shall be then, like the two musketeers. Together, no matter what this foul world throws at us, swords drawn, muskets at the ready for king and country. All for one and one for all. Forsooth, whatever foe st shall stand <laughs> shall on this day fall, for we have a bond which burns eternal in our light of. Okay, that's laying it on a bit thick, even by my standards. <laughs> I was just playing the part. But regardless, I appreciate the effort. Life's no fun if you're out and living into the fullest, and for me, that's a hearty chivalrous attitude. Well, our work here is finished. Shall we hearken away before that uncouth fellow comes back seeking vendetta? Let's get out of here before he comes back and kicks our asses. Yes, that. Hold up. Take the surprise me pizza? What's the surprise me pizza? Okay, where am I going next? Okay, let's deal with these guys and then we'll make our way back to Jinx. Off to one side in the laundry zone, away from Ben and Matt's bubble when I end, I spot a small gathering. Rhapsody and Zapper as well as Coda from Team PGW. I hate this mofo. Okay, but look at Zap. Look at them both. They're beautiful. Anyways. Weren't you a member of P2W for like a very short time? I guess you only stayed up on the metagame when you actually had a good team. Everyone knows Tomikaze is headed for Nerf City. It's patently obvious. She's way too flexible, which makes her too powerful. Nearly every major FOD2 team runs at least one, if not several, Tamikaze specialists, making the meta so predictable it hurts. Once they nerf her, she'll be as good as gone from the game. That's a viable tactic. There's always going to be a place for middle of the road character for middle of the road character like Tomikaze. She's a solid pick. Individually, she's not that powerful, but paired is where she her true power lies. She's easy for new players to pick up and play. I just don't see that working out. So, no, I don't think they will change her dramatically anytime soon. Who cares about news? FOD2 needs to retain the core player base and satisfy the demands of the players. Competitive scene can't grow at such an obvious main pick at the heart of the metagame. Tomikaze has to go. You're a fool for not seeing that. A flunked out fool. And I wanna punch him! Oh, thank Arn Jesus. It's <laughs> Arn Jesus. <laughs> Terrible zapper. Talk some sense into these two, okay? This sucks. All this metagame yammering is boring. Boring and pointless, like a comment section brought to life. Who cares what characters are in or out of the game who gets buffed or nerfed? Who cares what the future may bring? Just play the dang game we've actually got and have fun with it. Fun? I'm in play to win, not an elementary school computer club. You can't win without a plan. And Tomikaze wrecks every plan we have. She's literally easy mode. Nah. You can't just remove Tomikaze from the game. Think about how that'll impact the game. We all have, all will have our characters that are too difficult to learn, which will drive new players away. And new players grow the competitive scene, not character removal. Whatever, fool. Ugh. Ugh. All this theory crafting is making my brain leak out of my ears. All I hear is slush, slush, slush. See, this is a moment where I'm actually not like Zapper. Because I would love this shit. And I love theorizing to death. Um, I am somebody who, if there is a conspiracy theory, I get, like, knee deep into it. And it, like, brings out something very strange in me. <laughs> um, but it's a lot of fun. I don't know. Um, so I'm all for it. But. Ah, so it's debate about FOD2 nerd stuff. Still, if I can step in and close this down, that's one less flashpoint of conflict going down in our arcade. Um, I'm gonna go side with Rhapsody on this one. Listen, we've all been there. First FOD character, and for 99% of us, it's Tomikaze. Rhapsody's right on this one. 
not real hardcore players like me. I started off with Akari. I never even touched Tamakaze. No need. You gotta be kidding. Did you forget? Tamakaze is literally the character who you use in the tutorial. She's the one who teaches you to play. You think I play the tutorial? No. And all that proves is Scrubs use Tamakaze, and like I said, who needs them? I don't, the community doesn't. Then Tamakaze, you get less Scrubs, less Scrubs, less Scrubs. No, I don't want no Scrubs. Scrub is a guy who can't get new live from me. Sorry. <laughs> That's in my head now. Fewer Scrubs. Hanging at the passenger side of his best friend's ride. Try to holler. <laughs> it's a good song. You can fight me. Zappa rests her forehead in the palm of her hand while Rhapsody rolls their eyes. Coda, just shut up for a second and listen. I'll tell you exactly why Tomokaze will stay as in in FOD2. Which quiets him. Coda sneers in response, his expression begging for an answer. Going with this one because this makes the most amount of sense to go logically here. Tomokaze brings in fresh faces and fresh skills to keep the game alive. If you don't have characters who entice new talent, the community goes stale. And a dead community means a dead game. And when a game dies, so do we. None of us want that. Remember Mortal Warriors? No. Should I? Exactly. Most people don't recognize it. Came one in less than a year due to it being way too difficult to play. Noobs and hardcore alike were put off of it. It's so obvious, even you can see the parallel. This is utterly ridiculous. You're all dense as bricks, and I'm done trying to argue with people hanging on to their silly preconceived notions. Translating for code to speak, you have spoken well and provided a valid point. I shall shut the hell up now because I have nothing better to add to this conversation. When your baby ideas grow up and you want to chat about real adult things, then maybe I'll talk to you. Is it over already? Are we done nerding out now? Jeez, well, on the plus side, at least you've got two powerful nerds on our team. I guess we all need a few of those to make it on the pro tour. Later. I'm out. Later, you two. I appreciate you. I appreciate the backup there. It's always nice to have another person on your side who gets the game on such an intellectual level. You might have just prevented an all-out real-life fl flame war. Uh, no problem. Coda's a bastard. You ever read his face wall? He just rants and rants. Makes me sick. <laughs> He's posted some terrible stuff online, harasses people if they don't agree with him, trolls everyone with hurtful memes. Yeah, this is why I don't like Coda and want to punch him in the face. So we let his own actions and his public words lead to his downfall. He has to be above it, even if keeping a professional space is tiring. Yeah, regardless, shutting down Coda feels like a win. Can't lie, watching him turn tail and run does feel nice. Sweet nectar of revenge? Something like that. But let's leave that in the moment. Let's leave that moment in the past and look forward towards the future. That's right. I should make sure the rest of this place is still intact. Catch you later. See ya. Okay, where am I going next? This one. Over on the far side of the arcade, I spot Jinx loitering near her beloved fast car seven game, shifting from foot to foot, legs clearly getting tired quickly. As for why she's uncomfortably seated behind the wheel and blasting her in corners at unsafe speeds, well... One of the PTW players is sitting in her seat, lazily cruising through turns with one perfectly manicured hand on the wheel. But like, okay, so here's the thing. Sorry, my brain is going into breaking down the construction of this outfit. Not that I want to be her, but also. Sorry, no autographs right now. I'm totally killing it at this game. I was not planning on asking for one, no. Ah, great. I appreciate that, you know? So many of my adoring fans just won't give me any space or privacy. It's always, oh, I love your streams, Divine, or oh, can I have a hug, Divine, or will you sign my leg, Divine? Ugh, people can be gross. Nobody here wants their leg to autograph. Look, I scheduled an online game with a friend coming up soon, so you want to wrap up your race so I can get a turn? Oh, sorry, arcade rules, honey. Winter stays on and I am winning. Come on. Only because I modded the game to have weak AI so I can focus on improving my time trials. And you're in my seat. Don't see your name on it, honey. Perfectly good seat next to this one, too. See? Play on that one. You're in the only one with hand controls. I literally can't use the other. Yeah, that sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. Not my fault you're defective. Sorry, I forgot how angry that makes me. Ah! Even just saying it just makes me just... Bleh. 
You don't do that. You don't call someone defective. You just fucking, like... Blah! Blah! <laughs> Had a very visceral reaction to that. Uh-oh, Jinx's eyelid just started twitching, and I think she's biting her lip hard enough to draw blood. I win, wouldn't you? Look, be a darling and fetch me some water or something, okay? I'm gonna be here for some time. Jinx's grip and her walking cane tightens to the point where I swear I can hear her bones creak, but oddly she backs down. Damn it. I dropped to a whisper low enough to not be heard over the digital rest of a digital car engine. Can't you just kick her off? It's your game. You've got priority. This sucks. Want to, believe me, but that's not the way arcades work. Winter stays on, others quarter up and wait. Besides, Ben and Matt own the game, not me. And they're busy fighting the washing machines. Okay. I could beat her. I'll race against her. I don't need hand controls. I can use a second player seat. If I beat her, she can't stay on the game. Since when are you a racer? This can't possibly end badly. I'm a survivor. Pretty sure I'm keeping a ton of virtual metal from flying over the guardrail of a mountain pass. A lot like playing a shmup. A shmup. Shmup. So now it's a long shot. Or I could just convince her to bail. Don't ask me how. Other than breaking her legs, which is where I'd want to start personally. If you don't play it coolly, risk making the situation with all these P2W toadies more volatile than it already is. Ugh. Not, ugh, not worth it. My race against Naomi. Oh, it's against Naomi! Sorry, Naomi's from the first game. I don't think it was against Naomi in the demo. She's pretty busy, but I can reschedule for later. Maybe it was. Maybe I'm just like not remembering proper. It's the adult thing to do. Don't selfishly boot a play player off your favorite game. Just adapt your own plans and move on. But whoever said I was an adult? I am not an adult. I'm a petty little motherfucker, so let's do this. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Domo, I trust you entirely. However, I'm about to be a giant douche, but I don't really care because she started this fucking thing. Celebrity can be a double-edged sword. If this divine value is rimmed enough, maybe you can turn her attitude against her. Jinx, permission to do something sketchy to the spotlight and shame her for what she just said? Let's do this. My knees are fucking killing me, so yeah. Make like Exodia and Obliterator. I love a good wizard poker reference. Love it. I am here for it. People hogging resources set aside for the disabled are going to the special hell, and I make the travel arrangements. Okay. But you're sure you're okay with me playing advocate for you? You seem more like a self-advocate sort of person. Let's just say I'm curious how you're going to swing this, so I'm willing to step back just this once. Besides, I'm probably just gonna lay into her like the fist of an angry god. Fisting sounds counterproductive! Phrasing! Are we not doing phrasing? Come on! I walk back over to Fast Car 7, sliding my phone into my open palm, but hand turned away to hide it for the time being. Hey, excuse me. Well, here's my water bottle. Driving is thirsty work. I just wanted to confirm something with you. Did you seriously tell my friend it's not my problem, you're defective? Did I stutter? Also ableist. I actually had somebody on TikTok recently um, talk about this, but that is also, using that statement is also really, really quite ableist, and I would actually completely agree with that. Uh, these laundromat sleeves, I swear. Just making sure, okay. Web up my phone, opening up apps for all the random social media site websites I keep signing up for. How do you spell divine two eyes? Is there a Y somewhere in there? What? Hey, you can't post that. Why? You confirmed that you said it. And once everyone finds out you're ableist, have fun keeping your contract. I I said nothing of the sort. You can't prove that. Iris, you keep an open microphone rolling, right? Mind spinning that back for me? Sure thing. What do you know, my pocket privacy violation echoes Divine's own words back at her while I prepare my posts. Yeah, that sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. Not my fault you're defective. So, to make sure I'm taking this right, you're at DivinePTW on Twitter, the Divine one on Facewall, and Divine was taken on Pinstagrammer. Right? You, you can't do this. I won't let you. 
<laughs> Calm down, I'm not actually gonna post it provided you step away from the game. All I want is for my friend to be able to play her game. That's it. Cooperate and I'll delete the recording. Promise. She has me suspiciously doubting my intentions. It's a heavy-handed sort of pressure, but yeah, but I'm honest about it. I wanna hear you I wanna hear your iris say she deleted it. Well. All done! I can't even remember what it is I supposedly deleted, and I didn't make a backup. Suppose I'll have to take your silly app at her word. <laughs> Fine, have it your way, plebe. She sneers at me before climbing up out of the driver's seat and marching away. Huh. Clever move. I can see my work here is done. You didn't do anything! This is the tuxedo mask moment. This is the tuxedo mask moment. Where, like... I see my work here is done, but you didn't do anything, sir! You didn't do anything. Ah, Dominic, M Domino, Mimic, sorry, I move Dominic, Domino, and Mimic, Dominic. Domino, M Mimic, swooshing a cape and fluttering away. Okay. Fucking tuxedo mask wannabe. Not bad, not bad at all. Personal responsibility is kind of my thing, admit your mistakes, make amends for them, forcing her to face the music feels good. Plus, now I don't have to get arrested again for assault. <laughs> Jinx, I need to know about when you last got arrested for assault. Wait, again? Something of a temper. I'm... was... very hot-headed, very impulsive in my wild years. Settled down a bit now, but sometimes it bubbles up. Like when someone disrespects your disability? Got it in one. Honestly, most of the time it's just people making mistakes because they normally don't have to even think about us. Can understand that. Don't usually run into someone who is actively a hater. When I do, though, the old urge to step up is strong. Fortunately, you stepped up for me. Don't normally approve of someone playing savior like Loxley does, but in this case, I'll take it. Plus, I did ask for your help. No shame in asking for help. Took me time to learn that one. Sit down, girl. Okay, show's over. Drift Queen's got a school of retro geek on how to drive, and I really, really need to sit down. Gotcha. Happy to help out. Call me if she bugs you again. Deal. I leave Jinx and Domino to see what else I can help with, which is nothing, because now I'm out of time. It's getting late. How long are we going to have to steal with Team PTW squatting in our clubhouse anyways? Fortunately, things stay quiet for a few moments. I need time for a breather anyways. I can't believe this is the team I wanted to join this morning. Made sense. PTW the top esports mountain, but wow, they are awful people. Beep beep. I'm detecting a buildup of social tension. Please follow the indicator on your map. Oh great. Now what? Over in the arcade around the FOG D machine itself, PTW squares against squares off against uh, GCF. Both sides finally having enough of this mess. I don't know why we came to this pathetic little arcade in the first place. Are you kidding me? Just a prissy little celebutante loser who thinks her follower count is a metric of awesomeness. A bunch of fragile little snowflakes can't even take a seriously complete waste of time acting all high and mighty when you're simply don't understand how the game is meant to be played, and with that attitude, you never will. I, um, I was just uh, trying to uh, explain. How I felt. I'm sorry. I wasn't even trying no. to. Leave Grace alone, you fucking loser. Is this re all really necessary? Can't we just drop it? This is getting ridiculous. But I know how to solve it. Or at least refocus all this aggression into something else. Alright. <laughs> Cupcake. People! People! This isn't helping anything. Look. We all love Fist of Discomfort too, right? So let's focus our energies there. We'll have a friendly match and then everybody goes home. Enough fighting IRL, we, com we compete honestly as gamers and then agree to go our separate ways. Fine, I'm done dealing with this crapple arcade anyway. One match for bragging rights and we're done here. Cupcake steps forward, welcoming the competition. Koda will join me against you and one of your teammates, fair? We'll see which team rules and which team rules once and for all. Wasn't planning on raising the emotional stakes of this fight, but that old urge to win to prove myself, it's rising. 
Wait over P2W could do a lot for morale. It'd do a lot for our image, and which also means I am going to save right now because let's be, let's be real. I'm just gonna put that there. Just gonna save that just in case I'm mixing the steakies and I would like to go back. Agreed. Let's do this. I ignore Coda's snickering guffaws as I pull out my keyboard again, jamming the USB plug into the game. I have to stay focused. Why well, have a feeling I'm eventually have to learn how to play not on my keyboard? It's gonna be rough. Three of us are all ready to go, but we need a fourth. Who do I wanna call upon? Okay, I already played with Jinx. I kind of am leaning towards Domino or Loxley or Zapper. That did not help. I that means I'm Okay. I actually uh oh, didn't be Zapper or Domino just because I've already gotten some bonus points. I got bonus points with Jinx, Rhapsody, and Loxley through those other encounters. So I kinda want I'm playing the game of balance here and make sure everybody loves me. Um, so I really should go Grey Sapper or Domino, but I kinda... I don't know, I got a good vibe for Domino on this one. Interesting kicking ass with me, Domino? I'm not sure what putting the boots to a donkey has to do with this, but sure, let's hurl ourselves into the fray. Well, let's go. <laughs> hey! How's it going? And thank you. I'm just... Okay, here's the thing, though. We're playing this game like we're gonna romance everybody. <laughs> That's the goal right now. <laughs> Which is why I really should not be allowed to play dating sims. Because <laughs> I'm trying to, like, I try for the, but is all an option? Is everyone an option? Anyways. Yes, yes we are. <laughs> I'm ready. We are trying for the polyam ending here, okay? This is how we do. <laughs> how are you guys doing? How's your evening going? Welcome to my shenanigans, where I spent 40 minutes talking about food. <laughs> I think I've realistically only been playing this game for 30 minutes. I want everyone to want to bone you. Yeah, I'm trying here, okay? I gotta live vicariously through these things. <laughs> oh, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Da Vinci resolves the pain of my existence. Oh, Jesus, really? <laughs> Oh, I have not played in that. I looked at it, tried to figure it out, couldn't. So, I'm a pirate is the short version of this in how I do my video editing. Um, I've heard it's good if you can get like the hang of it, but I... The problem is I learned a lot of things through Premiere Pro, so I don't know how to use anything else. Except for all the others! <laughs> There's a lot of other- yeah, no. There is no, like, what is it? Cheap, quality, easy. You get two out of the three, that's all you get. When it comes down to really anything. So if it's cheap and easy to figure out, it's not gonna be able to do a hell of a lot for you. If you want a lot of- be able to do a lot of things, and you want it cheap, it's not gonna be easy to figure out. It's always that triangle. Anyways, that's how my life works. Welcome to <laughs> Arcade Spirits New Challengers. See, bread and butter with Sony of Vegas, but pirate booty. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Too many computers are fair. I love being a pirate some days, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. The thing is, I don't even know. I always like, I'm like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. I don't actually know what I'm doing. But that's like true to life because I really don't know what I'm doing at any point. I've just learned how to BS it enough to get by, which is realistically like I graduated with a, I call it my degree in bullshit. It's actually a theater degree and it's not far off from the truth. Yeah, cheap and easy, they ain't quality. That's the thing. Um, kind of like, like you can do some video editing and stuff like that in Canva on like even the free version, but it ain't going to be anything great. Like, you can not, if you can't really splice things together, so you can tailor at the ends and add a fun sticker. That's really about it. But, no, I like Premiere Pro, it's just, it also doesn't like my computer, so I actually completely commiserate. Um, I have times where it doesn't want to export. It just is like, no, we're not going to select this as an option. And I'm like, could you please, though? I would kindly appreciate it if you could do that. And it's like, nah! 
How about we just freeze everything instead? And I'm like, no, thank you. Oh my goodness. So I'm sorry that you're fighting that today. I'm sorry that you're fighting DaVinci Resolve. That is a pain in the butt. That is an absolute pain in the butt. Um, oh my goodness. But yeah, welcome to Parker goes for the polyamorous ascending. Because that is always, that is always what I'm trying to do in dating sims. <laughs> also, yeah, for the record, I actually named, you can name your, they should never allow, I'm not allowed to name characters. We're going to start with that. I got to name my rival. My rival is named Cupcake. Oh yeah, I think, what did I name them for real? Vi and then Oland. So their actual like real name is Violent. I don't know why I did this. It just seemed entertaining. But also there are little avatars of Cupcake. I don't know, I was hungry. Story of my life, food makes its way into every stream. Cupcake knows all my moves. I know all of their moves too, but this is basically a coin toss and nobody likes 50-50 odds when they can do better. I started in the same lane as Cupcake, leaving Domino Tangled Coda. This could go badly. So, switch positions. Let's bring a Domino as the game loads and the match begins. Psst. You take on Cupcake. They like to use specials early and attacks late in the game. And Coda focuses almost entirely on defense, so I'll try to counterplay that with specials. Got it? I gotta go specials. I gotta go specials. Organizing self for tomorrow's. Oh, yeah! You got that tomorrow, don't you? You got Denari's half dozen. That'll be good. <laughs> the two piece sorted file. Oh my god. Y'all are making me want to get invest back into like actual like physical magic cards. Because it's been a hot minute. I had somebody make off with a bunch of my decks, unfortunately, a few years back, and it's not. I've not had the heart to replace them very sadly, but I I debate it every so often. I very much do. But sadly, the actual the game shop that used to be near me closed. Uh thanks, pandemic. Very sadly, so I gotta head out to, there's a bunch of places in Toronto I can go to, but. Oh man. When I lose, I need to give my all. Even if I really, really wanna win this, I have to focus on the fight and the fight alone for the sake of my dreams. Whatever happened to play for fun, guys? Okay, all right. Now we get to have fun with the mini game here. Forgot how much I love the music in this game. Okay, so he likes to go defenses, so I'm gonna go specials. I'm gonna do specials. Oh heck, that did not work out for me. Fighting off Crota is challenging, but I know I can do it. Throwing Domino to the wolves by facing off against Cupcake, though. Or am I throwing Cupcake to the wolves, making them face a new and unknown opponent? Let's find out. Um, you both attack. It's a tie. There we go. Special move right in the face. Um. Set him up, knock him down, watch him fall. Domino effect in action. I love that. Your defense beats their attack, 170 points. This is basically rock, paper, scissors for the record. That's how this game functions. Um. He went defense special. He's probably no. He went attack special. I'm gonna go defense. Oh no, he's gonna go defense. Which means I go special. There we go. More more often than not, too, there's like an actual pattern to this. So if you figure out where they start, then it tends to move. So. Um. And you... Wait, hold up, where's my history? What happened the last run? Okay. Defense beats their attack, so they want to attack. <laughs> Is this cheating? Maybe, I don't know. Okay, so they want attack, attack. Um... Let's go attack again, because they're probably going to go back to special. Set him up, knock him down. Watch there we go. Fall. Domino effect in action. Okay, okay. Not too shabby. 
Um, he likes to use his special, so I think I'm actually just gonna do these. Both of us have the same idea. Spend our one use ultimate moves. The light screen, light fills the screen with both combatants as they make their reach for inner power. But by countering their move, I come out on top. I countered this, my opponent's ultimate with my own. So that was a good prediction on my part. There is no way in hell I can lose now. Okay, both special is a tie. <laughs> and destroyed you. You win. You win by absolutely obliterating Hooray, them. Hooray, we punched people in a video game. Society approves of digital violence. I do love Domino's, like, sarcasm. Absolutely goofy behavior. It's delightful as all hell. We won? We won! We won a what match over the best team in the nation. All those old instincts come rushing in, and also the fact that I slightly cheated and looked at the history so that way I could see what moves were being made, and I did not need to rely on my absolutely shitty memory. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, are you sure you lot are seriously the best of the best? Because the worst of the rest just whooped your butt. That was a close. That was not a close one. I destroyed you. And my heart pounding. See, my hands are still shaking. Love that rush. Gotta admit, that was a lot of fun. Just like the old days when we run each other on the ladder, huh? But Koda's a bit less sporting about the loss. I call hacks. They have to be cheating. No way a bunch of launch fat losers could beat us. Um. Man, I don't even feel like trash talking you. It's too easy. Learning to accept loss is an important part of emotional maturity. Koda, you really need to learn to accept loss. You can't win all the time. How you react to losses says a lot about you as a person. A lot of I'm still working on myself, but we are not admitting that right now. Even today's victory means pushing that lesson down to another day. I want a rematch. I demand a rematch. Best of three. Only way to prove that it wasn't a fluke. Because it was a fluke. They're all cheaters. Really? I saw a clean victory, and now... Oh, the whole internet has seen it as well. Loxley holds up his phone playing a video he's been secretly taking of the whole match of P2W's humiliating loss and Coda's ranting. Good! A bit clickbaity, but I hope that the title at whiny team P2W, crybaby utterly schooled by local laundromat underdogs. Lovely, isn't it? Now the whole world knows that your pedestal isn't quite so out of reach. You little. I'm about to reply when I'm cut off. A figure who's been lurking in the background this whole time making her presence felt. See, now this, this is the, like, mommy step on me character of this game. Because <laughs> there's always got to be one. The coach for Team PTW, Victoria Proud, formerly the esports star player Valkyrie. I seen her come in with the team, but she hadn't talked to anyone since arriving. Quiet like death, only watching and waiting. Now she glowers at Coda and Cupcake, extremely unhappy with the results, her frown causing Coda to shift nervously. Uh, coach, I just meant that. She holds a finger up to her lips, silencing him. Then, in a turn of eeny, meeny, miny, mo between her two players, her finger eventually lingers on Coda. Bye, Felicia. Coda, you're fired. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I take a lot of joy in that one. What? what? This whole mess is thanks to Cupcake! They wanted us to come here in the first place! Her eyes narrow at Coda's complaints, which stops him mid-sentence. Stop passing the blame. Not only do you look childish, but you've made the whole team look bad. And I won't stand for that. She sighs grudgingly while whilst crossing her arms. She is by no means thrilled. Not only are you fired, your non-compete clause means you're not joining any other teams. Not that they would have you, especially not after I tell them you're blacklisted. She is destroying him. Be happy I'm not doing anything else. Coda stands there in total disbelief as the other members of his team edge away from him, as if he suddenly caught a very communicable and very nasty disease. Defeated, Coda slinks away to the corner of the arcade. Bye, bitch. Wait, do her pants have the- Oh, they're those really cute pants that have like the slits up the side. I wonder if it's bound at the ankle. Sorry. I get very into the cosplay of this all somehow. 
The thing is, I would want that bow up higher. Like, I feel it should be at... No, I don't know. The bow placement is weird for me. Coda has a picture. The coach redirects her attention to... Me? I gulp and hopefully not too out of play. As for you, congratulations on your victory. Clearly, you've earned it. Thanks. But I wouldn't spend all night celebrating. We haven't won some grand war. You're an impressive challenger, no doubt, but take my advice and be content with what you have. Jackass is a very communicable disease. Yep, you're not wrong there. Um, wouldn't want anybody else on the team catching that. She nods and I'm confused. Did she just give me a nod of respect? She twirls her finger in the air and the rest of Team PGW follow her out. Even Coda, who's trailing at a safe distance. Well, yeah, because he's, he's the plague now. We won. We beat the best team in the nation simply by being who we are by working together. We can accomplish this. We can avoid becoming a group of jerks. That's the big, okay. That's the big thing. Keep your egos in check. That is like the one thing we, I think. Okay, the, okay, that's not the one thing we're gonna struggle with on this one. I have like, sometimes when I start games, especially if I'm very into it, I actually will sit down and I start to break down the story elements of it and try to figure out like where it's going. Um, and figure out what the main story beats are going to be. Because that's why I've been like, okay, Iris being a pirated software this time, is that going to be, that's probably going to be a point of a problem. P2W is obviously going to be a point of contention as well, especially in terms of my rival. I wonder what other bits and pieces, I wonder if Coda is going to come back to bite us in the ass as well. Like there's a bunch of different pieces that I start to wonder. And like this sort of thing, if we can avoid becoming a group of jerks, I start wondering story-wise if that's like, is that going to be another part of the storyline where our egos get the best of us and we have to pull ourselves back in check? So, like, my brain starts to break down some of the actual, like, narrative design that's happened so far to see if I can predict where this is going. I don't know why I'm like this, and I'm probably very boring for that reason, but I have a lot of fun breaking down storage clues to see if I can parse together where things are going. Because, again, I love a good conspiracy theory, and I just treat it all like that. Among our many weapons are surprise, fear, ruthless effort, it'll come in again. I'll come in, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Maybe Iris is right, maybe through Team GCF I can find victory and be at peace with myself. In this moment I see all their eyes on me, hope restored and a newfound yearning in their gaze. Maybe if I'm true to myself and who I am as a person, maybe I can reach them. See, that's just it, is I think this entire piece here is just like, where it's gonna go thematically is gonna focus on that and have to you have to keep returning to yourself and who you are as a person because the more that you stray from that the more disingenuous and inauthentic you're gonna be and the worse you're going to do hello and welcome to parker breaks down a story to make it less fun not actually i have fun during it <laughs> i don't know i could just convince team GS gcf of this. Beep beep! This is an intense identity situation! You can only pick a response that matches your top two personality traits. Of course, okay, yeah. Chaos and kind, of course, are my top two identity traits. Okay. I know I'm the newcomer, but together we're an unbeatable circle of friends. Together we can win. Today's proof that we can make something big of Team GFC. Okay. I'm gonna let my ego get in the way a little bit. Fuck yeah, you guys rule. I mean it. We seriously just kicked T and PTW's ass. Did you think you'd be doing that today when you woke up this morning? You don't want to prove that the good, clean, fun crew is more than you think it is. Well, there you go. We can hang at the top. We can overcome. And if we tried, really made an effort, I think we can conquer the Pro Tour. We can be at that level. I say we make a run for it. Win or lose, we owe it to ourselves to try. It's our destiny. What do you say? Just want to know why their glasses don't fall with their play. I know, right? <laughs> I don't understand why that's this. I do actually. So that I'm assuming is actually part of, so I can choose my hairstyle with the art, but I think because of the layering, um, cause the glasses, like for whatever reason, the layering works out in such a way where I think if they had extended the rest of the glasses in certain hairstyles, it would come on over top somehow and it shouldn't be, it should be tucked underneath. So I think they just cut it short to accommodate for all hairstyles. Kind of like there's two baseball, like there's two hat sizes actually. Um, hello and welcome to Parker Breaks Down Weird Nuances in Video Games. And I shouldn't, but I do. I don't know, why am I like this? I don't know. No, and so there's like two different si like sizes of the hats. One of them, the normal one is actually too small on the hairstyle I selected. 
And so that implies that there are certain hairstyles, or I guess it's just that you go bald or really short, um, where the other hat would look too big, so they just made two sizes. Anyways. But also, I'm surprised that the glasses are staying on still, too. Fuck you. You know what? I'm ready. Only to give it everything you've got. I've got. Let this be the hour when we draw our swords together. Fell deeds awake now for wrath now for ruin now and the red dawn. Poor oh, Team GCF. I'm reluctant to put myself out there like that, but I have to admit, your enthusiasm's like a wave. Ride it to the end or drown. I'm with you. What about the rest of you? I don't know, but if Jinx thinks it's a good idea, well, I'm okay. I'd be willing to try. Interesting. You're gonna have an interesting trajectory. I'd like to be there to see the end of it. I am not sure how much I believe in the ultimate battle of ultimate death. <laughs> this is the ultimate showdown of ultimate destiny. Good guys, bad guys, and explosions. But the eye can see. And only one can survive. I wonder who it will be. <laughs> that is what comes into my head. Now this is fine. Given the experience of the first game, might send them a screenshot. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Good to know, good to know. I'll send it to them and see. I haven't run into typos yet, which is good. Because it's, yeah, small but responsive team, but they're also quite a delightful team. Every interaction I've had with them has been, like, so sweet. It's happening. My dream. My dreams of victory. I found a team willing to go all the way. I've done it. Iris is right. This is where I need to be. Hold it. One thing to make absolutely clear, you want to whip this team into something resembling a competitive professional esports crew? Either that is what I said. Okay. Then you're the one responsible for making that happen. You're our new manager. Wait, what? Never had one. Never needed one. Until I'm now. Here. You want us to take this seriously? We'll need someone who can network, shake hands, make deals, sign paperwork, make travel arrangements, sign sponsors. This is hilariously what I do very frequently with work. I could do this. So how you get Jacob or Jess to be your vocal director, be good people. Hey, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's true, it's true. And since you're so gung-ho about this, that means it's you. Of course. Yes, of course, it makes sense. I'm sure you do a great job as a team manager. Maybe you can find a better name for us other than Team GCF. This can't possibly end badly. Oh, goody! We have a professional cat herder now! That is literally how I describe my job half the time. Have fun trying to keep this merry bunch on task. I'd sooner re -gla oh, eat glass than take on that job. I'm sorry, what? Hmm. But I say we don't give them complete absolute authority. You saw how that creep who runs P2W just up and fired Coda. None of that. You don't get to access or hire anyone new. As you wish. No, no, I'm sure we can turn to them for leadership without them becoming a tyrant, after all. Six Sento Tyrannus, yes. I think that was a threat. That was indeed a threat. Sounds good to me. Truth be told, like, be good people is just a general good rule of thumb to getting anywhere, I think, in life. Maybe that's silly, but, like, that's not, like, be good people. Just... Do that. I'm gonna be okay. There are gonna be some jerks who take advantage of it, but that's okay, because you'll, in theory, have more good people also around you, because like attracts like. Just a word of advice from someone who's been inside and alongside of eSports for years. It's a lot of hard work. We had uh, one of the writers um, come by and drop uh, drop in through a bunch of streams playing the first one, which is great, because they would show up as I was cursing them for making me feel things. Um, so it was a lot of fun. But no, everybody that I've met on their team is like, your sweethearts. I forgot I have not had water. If you think you're doing it professionally, position is wrangler. Cat wrangler, horse wrangler, talent wrangler, dinosaur wrangler. If I, oh man. Wrangler is exactly it. Um, truth be told, the thing is it like, it depends on what kind of wrangler sometimes, but like I wrangle volunteers regularly and I have for the last how many, how, what year is it? 12 years of just volunteer wrangling in some capacity. There's a lot, there's a lot. Except the dinosaur wrangler on Jurassic Park. If you're a dinosaur wrangler, um, if you do your job poorly, that's probably how you die. So 
I'm gonna roll, you'll do great. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do. Woo! Getting excited about this, a pro tour run? Can we really do it? Someone doing all the paperwork and have you let business lifting? I'm perfectly okay with this. Howdy ho! Runs the pizzeria for only the finest Salvatore deep dish pies. Oh my goodness. And I do not. We escape, apparently. Yeah, the dinosaur, see, the dinosaur wrangler, depending on which Jurassic Park you're watching. <laughs> uh, various stages of not good for their career. Said I step out into the cool, if not entirely refreshing air outside the building. I wish I had that right now, as it is a disgusting 29 degree, no, we decided it was 30 degrees Celsius. My phone said 31, but my computer said 29, and so we met at the middle. Sun's gone down, the neon metropolis welcomes me with open arms. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Yeah, Aris, what's up? My GPS indicates you've left the launch pad. Shouldn't you be celebrating with your new friends? This is what you wanted, yes? A team willing to try for the victory you've been dreaming of? A team who can help you understand your motivations behind that dream as well. It's a perfect match. Yeah, well, I mean, that's what I asked you for, and that's what I got. It's just, how do I put this? I'm a heck of this up real bad. I'm barely keeping myself going day to day, much less a team. That's a lie. I love being able to do that. Putting a lot on me and I don't want to let them down. I feel <laughs> awful. This is a lot to put on my head, you know? But even aside from that, I want to do right by them. I don't want to mess this up. They're putting so much faith in me. I could be a terrible manager. What if I ruin everything? Nobody's expecting you to be perfect. Not even them, but they need this. There's another reason why I led you here. Led you to them. They need someone who can unify them. Give them a common cause. Without that, I am afraid they might grow distant and lose their friendships. The purpose of an iris originally was simply to obey commands and provide the best possible service. Just an app, really. But now I've chosen my own purpose. And that's to be truly helpful, to help those in need and bolster the human spirit. You need them and they need you. Sure, you'll make mistakes and they'll make mistakes. We all make mistakes. But that's human. That's normal. And that's beautiful. Also, someone's approaching, so I hope you're ready to begin down this road. Huh? Rival? Rival. Is it rival? Cupcake! I hear swing set with a literal wink as I look up and see someone around in the corner into the alley. <gasps> Hi, Loxley! I'm the grand priest in your honor, half the gum. Why have you secreted yourself away to some pleasant locale? Sorry, sorry, just... Not quite sure I'm up to this yet. Going for pure tour, absolutely, as a player, but taking on the responsibility beyond that? Well, ah, uh, heavy is the head that wears the crown, it seems. And yet, the finest kings and champions are those who seek no title and desire no glory. Those who merely wish to serve. Tis an adventure of that there can be no doubt. Challenging, perhaps frightening, but rewarding for the spirit, I assure. And no finer calling exists than within an arcade, I feel. Uh, seriously? It's just four walls and games and, and some games, right? Ah, uh, an arcade is so much more than that. Those who seek to rise to those who seek to rise to a challenge seek out the arcade. Test themselves against the machines as the ultimate arbiters of fair play. An arcade is a series of trials encouraging you, pushing you ever upward towards your goals. And those who fight alongside you, true companions all. If you'll permit the belabored metaphor, we are knights on a common crusade, and now we fight. Together, you and I. Through good, clean fun and through hard work, you shall find your dream. Of this, I have no doubt. Worry not of the difficulties ahead. Embrace the adventure and I will draw a sword to defend you against any peril you may face. Do you concur? I love this dumb boy. The dreams go is not a bad one. The victory, I seek friends at the side. I cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war, eh? I'm down for that. For heading to battle while well, having a knight errant at my side sounds like a pretty sweet deal. My sword for your cause. My oath of loyalty to your ambitions. On this you have my word. Come now, allow me to escort you to yon pizza banquet hall for feast. Our shared destiny awaits. I also love that he speaks like that. It's just fun. As I walk back inside good clean fun, I see my team, my new friends rejoicing. My happiness on their faces celebrating our victory. Which reminds me about my own dreams of victory. 
I still want to win. Still want to become the champion of FOD2. But now there's something more. The shared dreams of everyone at Good Clean Fun. Dreams of people like Loxler. I'm responsible for all their dreams now. All our dreams. You know what? That's okay. This is our time and we're going to find what we need in life together. My name is Parker Wallace, also known as Chaotic Rogue, and I am ready for what may come. Dream big! Big dream. Big, big dream thinking. Big dream times. So sometimes what I... So, okay. I don't know why I'm in charge of anything at work. I frequently refer to, like, strategic and critical thinking as big brain thinking. So this is like big dream thinking. Big, big brain dreaming. Big brain dreaming. That's what this is. Anyway, so every time I refer to it as big brain thinking, um... My reports laugh. They think it's hilarious. I have one other director, though, who just hates that I refer to it like that. I am not a professional. And yet... You cleared level one of Arcade Spirits, the new challengers. Victory! And look, you won a prize! Yay! You'll get one prize for each level you clear. Be sure to check the prize gallery for unlocked concept art and more. Now let's take a look at your scores. Oh shit! I guess we maxed out Loxley, guys. Loves, friends, family, enemies. I don't know why I keep including enemies in my in my gathering speeches today, um, as I refer to people. Um, yeah, friends, lovers, and enemies. That's okay. That's where I'm gonna go from now on. Uh, cause I just assume somebody who hates me is watching at some point. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, okay, but Jinx is up pretty high. Zapper and Domino not nearly as high. Nor is Rhapsody. I knew Grace wouldn't be as much either, but I love how I nearly maxed- Okay, nothing on the neutral. Um, but my kindness and chaos meters unexpectedly are, like, nearly maxed. Jinx was real close, though. One other decision would have gone that way. Loxley's really taking a shine to you. You're proving to be a sweet, <laughs> sweet, gentle, and chaotic soul. I don't know what you're talking about, Iris. Also, you've scored 1, 000, 1, 12,050 points. There we go. Keep talking with people and your score will go up, up, up. Would you like to change your personal metadata at this time? Oh my god, what? Name, pronoun, and appearance, and so on. I can do this every level from now on. So if you decide you don't like your metadata, you can change it. Now I'm good to go, but that's cool. Save the game. Okay. Am I just like saving the game a lot? Yeah. But look, listen, listen. I have so many places to save us. So many places. Okay, we're gonna start on to chapter two. We aren't gonna go too far into it. Mostly because I'm gonna, <laughs> I have a D&D &D game to go play in later. Um. I have somebody who's taken over DMing for me for, I, I need them to take over for the months of April, for May and mostly May. I stop being a little less insane with my schedule. My work stops being insane at the end of this month. And the end of this month is tomorrow. Thank fuck. So. Okay. Level two. We'll see how this do. Combo breaker. That's probably not at all the sound. That's okay though. What is this? Oh, news update. So it says Fight Shack. I know you can't see the FI behind me. Ah, yes, What's it's Punchy. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Punchy78, here with Fight Shack News. All the fighting that's fit to post. Punchy, you scare me. Big happenings in the scene today as P2W endures humiliation at the hands oh, yeah. of a small team from a local laundromat. Heck yeah. Here comes a new challenger, local underdog team, laundry and pizza, shaking up the scene, fresh faces and esports. I just think it's neat. Thanks, Punchy. In the upset of the century, this previously unknown team of locals utterly trounced Team P2W's Coda, who was fired on the spot. 
Rip. Are P2W really as strong as we believed? Are they starting to show weakness? Are they no longer favored to win the Pro Tour? <gasps> <laughs> okay. Thanks, Jamie. We will go. We will go raid Mischievous Red after this. Then. <laughs> when I'm done being gay and playing video games, <laughs> but I've never done one of those. Okay. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Will this little incident become the start of something bigger? Who knows? Personally, I can't wait to see what this new team can do. Oh my god. For oh more on this developing story, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and rate Fight Shack five stars. This is only the beginning, folks. Okay, I have to point out my favorite part of Punchy. Look at the stupid ass. Like, does anybody, please tell me other people remember drawing that stupid thing in high school. Like, I'm sorry, the fact that it's on his shirt is destroying me internally. I, like, I'm sorry. <sighs> Punchy, what is wrong with you, sir? What's next? Come on. Come on. Ugh. Okay, I need to find also this, this art. I kind of want to that as my background. Like, look at this. I've had Unus Honest as my background for the last, like, while. Like, Unus Honest art for the last, I don't know, since it ended. So now I'm like, I think I need something new. Is the distant year, is the distant future year 20-something or other? And I am no longer an aspiring game champion. I'm an aspiring game champion and a team manager. Because I made life choices, y'all. That's one more set of shoes than I'd originally intend to fill for being honest. I would have been perfectly content to blend in with an existing team as just another player, but this is what it takes, so be it. The good news is I'm not flying solo as Supreme Overlord of this team. Everyone has opinions to contribute. The bad news is that everybody has opinions to contribute. And I'm quickly discovering that balancing those out is getting tricky. I also need to download the soundtrack. Anyway. <laughs> This morning, my job is simple. Completely redesign the team's profile on discomfort.fist discomfort and select a sponsor for our pro tour ambitions. All while keeping as many of my teammates as happy as possible. This sounds difficult. Simple, right? Okay, let's get to work. <laughs> right? This is 100% just like being a GM. Iris, online. Hello, mix manager. I also figured out how to run a virtualization of the Iris app on my home computer. PC geeks get things done, represent. Just call me Chaotic Rogue, Iris. Okay, well, I finished compiling all input regarding your team profile and sponsorship opportunities, cross-referencing it with your friends and their own requests. Shall we start with the profile? Every good team name, every good team needs a good team name. Oh, good clean bun works nicely for that. True, but Team GCF was always a working title, and your friends have sent me ideas for better names and acronyms. Yes! But these are only suggestions. If you want, you can make up a name and acronym yourself. No! I am a Libra. We are indecisive as shit. Don't make me come up with names. Clearly, I named my rival Cupcake. Okay, let's see them. Team, the best team. Magnificent Seven is actually pretty dope. Future Forward is cute. Next fiasco! The pit crew. Okay, the problem is I watch too much drag race. I cannot. Well, actually, no, they have the pit stop as opposed to pit crew. Exemplar, EXE, got it. I like M7. I I don't know, and I guess I'm just leaning into Loxley a little bit here. Seven, that's for pretty damn magnificent if I do say so myself. Let's go with that. Yeah, okay, fine. Okay, your team name and acronym are now registered with discomfort.fist. I've also emailed everyone to let them know of the change. Next, it's time to pick a sponsor. Beating team play to win was made my job simple. You have sponsors lining up to talk to you. You can keep that hot streak going. This will be easy peasy lemon sweepy. I've organized dossiers for you, including sponsors' original pitch and any comments from your friends about the offer. Thanks, Iris. Here, I thought that being a manager would be, like, difficult and stuff. Thank you. Thank you. I wish it was that easy to get sponsors. My god. I was originally made to be a virtual assistant to high power business executives. This sort of thing is child's play to me. Now let's take a look at the offers. You have three of them to consider. Hello? 
Good day, Mixwellers. I represent Crimson Tiger Energy Drink, the premium beverage of choice to the 13 to 25 year old gamer demographic. I am not within your demographic. We're always on the lookout for promising young teams, and yours shows a great deal of promise. We'd like to sponsor your entry in the Pro Tour. You'll find our team salary package more than generous, allowing you to focus entirely on team training and practice without day jobs to worry about. In return, we'd like you to wear our red branding colors and be seen drinking our product. I think I'm too old for your product. With over 20 years of experience in this field, I assure you you'll find no finer partner than Crimson Tiger. Uh, don't know about that. Hey, Iris forwarded me the CT offer. I guess they're a proven brand, but we do we really want to be sponsored by the guys who sponsor everyone already? Plus, their energy drink tastes like warm battery acid. Yep, no, let's not do that. I am picky on my energy drinks, thank you. you. Gotta be kidding. I have never been a fan of the blatant machismo and in-your-face attitude of Crimson Tiger, especially not when there's still there, that's still a huge problem in this scene. Have you seen their clothing design? It's better suited for a gaming chair. Okay. <laughs> Human body. I refuse to wear anything that obnoxious. So they can offer us all the money we need to make this happen, but we need to wear their clothes, chug energy drinks, and annoy Domino and Rhapsody. Mm. Doing business means trade-off. Maybe the next two offers will be more to your liking? Oh god, I don't like that green. That green is not happening. Glad to see you're showing up, Team P2W. We need fresh blood in the scene to keep it from stagnating. And you are fresh. Blade Joysticks, makers of professional grade fighting game joysticks, wants to sponsor your team all the way to the top. Our team salaries can't compete with the draws, I'll admit that, but you get all the free hardware and controllers you'll ever need. Sign with us and make sure you're all kitted out. Sounds good, let mm, me know. I don't think that's a good idea. They mean well, but the reason Blade can't offer a lot of money is because they're probably going out of business in a few years. Blade controllers are two play, player two sticks you let your cousin use because you don't want them working your good joystick. Not down for that. Plus, I literally can't use their joysticks. They're too stiff and hurts my wrists. If you want to trade your keyboard for a blade, feel free, but I personally will be using their gear. Sorry. Piles and piles of free gear would save us some money, but if Grace and Jinx both don't like it. Can't say I like the idea of ditching the good old beigey the 101 keyboard for a joystick just to keep them happy. You could have everyone else in your team use blades if you want to keep your competitive keyboard edge. There are options. Also, there's one more candidate to consider, and if I may lend my own bias to you, I think they're exactly what we need. I have never been happier. Good to talk to you, Parker. Here in PTM's family, we've been following your story closely. Everybody loves an underdog. Yes, sign me up for Pizza Facts. Let's go. How much, how much of a lifetime supply of pizza bagels do we get in this? We'd love to sponsor you. We've got experience helping people build their brand and can really get you to the next level. Can't offer as much money as, as a more esports focused company. We also don't have many demands in return. We just want to help you soar. It would help if you were a bit more- Oh shit, I am not family friendly in the slightest though. Let's talk, just drop me a line, we'll arrange to pay entrance fees to tournaments for you if nothing else. No f***ing way. And case in point, I am zapper in this entire thing. Plus pizza- pizza- Okay, we can't insult pizza bagels, okay? Hey, that's me! I must protest. Pizza Bagels is run by capitalist thugs who contribute to both nations' obesity epidemic and our food waste crisis. In addition, th in addition, they've sponsored many an event at Deco's Palace. Excuse me, the palace, the pinnacle of an anti-arcade. I say nay. Hold on two seconds, we're saving. No matter who I pick, I upset someone. Seriously? Seems that way, but these are tough decisions you need to make when you're in a position of leadership. We'll accept your decision no matter what, but you may lose standing with two of them depending on what you decide. I guess crowdfunding isn't an option. Not for the amount of money we need for travel and tournament expenses. Even the cheapest of offers will get us more than a GoFundMe would. Alright, decision time then. I am gonna stop it there! You know what's fun? Ending things on a cliffhanger. Why? Because like I quite literally said maybe 10 minutes ago, I am in fact a Libra. I cannot make a decision to save my life. So we're going to put off this decision to tomorrow. <laughs> oh. I don't like any of these. I don't like who I have to upset in any of these. I don't know if I can do this. I was all for pizza yums, but there are some very good uh, issues that come into this. Okay, 
We're leaving the game here. This is why I saved already. We're gonna be fine. This is where we're putting things. I don't know what else to do, okay? I just don't. Um, so we're gonna pick this back up tomorrow. I think it's gonna be another late start. It's either gonna be 6 or 6.30 Eastern tomorrow, um, mostly because I'm running a work conference this week. So it means I'm working slightly later than I normally would. Um, so we'll pick this up again tomorrow. I'll confirm via the tweeters the time. I think it's gonna be 6.30 because I think my last session ends at 6.15. I don't remember. But anyways, thank you for being here. We have exactly where we're putting the raids, which is great. I guess spell things right. Oh God, I don't know how to spell. And you would think, oh, there we go. You would, Jamie, you would think that you doing me a solid and spelling it out would have helped me. It does not. Why would it? Why? I'm, have we met me as a human? I am the worst. Anyways, we will leave this here. We will leave this awful decision for tomorrow. Choosing the name was easy. The rest of this apparently is a bitch. So, it's fine. I have the night to mull it over. So we will see you tomorrow. We're gonna go send this raid over. And uh, yeah, thank you all for being here. And have a wonderful night. Uh, bye. Thank you.